Inispec Limited boasts that it's the world's only producer of tetraethyl lead, known as TEL, the substance in the leaded petrol that was commonly used across the world until the 1970s. You won't find leaded petrol or TEL at the petrol pumps in Britain. It was banned in 1999 after links were established to brain damage in children. TEL isn't safe enough for Britain, but that hasn't stopped British company Inispec Limited selling it abroad. Today, TEL is used in only six countries, Afghanistan, Algeria, Iraq, Burma, Yemen and North Korea. All of them are supplied by Enespec Limited. These sales have been slammed by environmental groups. Friends of the Earth is very concerned by this and we're urgently asking the government to, to look into it. I mean, why is it that a company is allowed to sell this toxic chemical which is banned for use in petrol and, and paint here in the UK? Why is it OK to, to sell that to other countries uh, where their citizens will be exposed to the devastating health impacts? TEL is dubbed the killer chemical. Mounting evidence shows that it's responsible for long-term damage to human health, including damage on children's nervous system and IQ. It's also been linked to violent crime. There's increasingly robust um, reports uh, linked to, to research and evidence that suggests that uh, violent crime is is traceable back to, to that exposure. So it's, it's damaging on a societal level as well as on the individual. Inispec has a controversial history. In 2010, the company pleaded guilty to corruption charges, bribing Iraqi and Indonesian officials to secure lucrative contracts supplying TEL. Inispec is still producing and selling TEL to a very limited number of countries for use in motor gasoline. The timing of the exit from the business is designed around the conversion of these countries to unleaded gasoline. We have openly indicated that we expected these conversions to take place over the past few years, but it seems that in some cases the introduction of unleaded fuel in these countries has been delayed. This should be stopped right away. There's, it's not a question of time scale, and uh, they have plans to phase it out already. This company and are now calling for an extension. It's, it's too late already, and an urgent action must be sought. Critics say Inispec is stalling. The company recently told shareholders it would seek to maximise the cash flow from its declining sales of TEL. While it makes that profit, countless lives remain at threat. Nagas Mubalari, Press TV, London.